Hey guys, happy weekend, happy Friday, um, happy 1st of May. We're really winding down the year at this point. So um, just wanted to say hi and kind of update you on the things I've been posting into a Google Classroom today and the last couple of days. Um, I am working on getting your other projects graded. A lot of people have not turned that in for the first part of first quarter, fourth quarter. What I'm looking for for first quarter is two completed projects, okay? Um, so you need at some point to get those two into me. Um, I'm not gonna penalize for them being late and things like that, although please try, because pretty soon your grade book's gonna show that you're missing that first project, um, and that might look like it hurts pretty good, okay? So two completed projects for fourth quarter of your choice. So I, we're gonna talk about choices real quick. Um, so let me share my screen with you, get this out of the way. Um, okay, so for the um, first part of the fourth quarter, you could pick from the paper pottery, the stop motion video, the homemade clay totem pole, okay? You can still pick from those, okay? So if you didn't do one of, what, whatever you didn't do, you can still pick those assignments for the second part of fourth quarter, but I added a couple more choices, okay? Um, so 3D class online is nearly impossible. Um, I feel like I exhausted my options of 3D online with the ones I turned, showed you up here, okay? <laughs> so I added ones in, but they're 2D, okay? Sorry, we're just gonna get better at art in general, as artists thinking creatively, whatever it takes, okay? So the two options that you have, um, you this one is to get better at drawing. Um, this is 20 drawings in a sketchbook or on a piece of paper if you don't have a sketch. I don't care, as long as they're grouped together and you can take pictures of them as you go and I can see them all, okay? Um, it can be 20 portraits, 20 vehicles, 20 animals, 20 plates of food, I don't care. It could be whatever, it could be a mix of those things, okay? It could be a Big Mac for McDonald's with your dog next to it, don't care, okay? 20 drawings in your sketchbook. I do want them to be decently detailed, add some value, things like that, um, you really should not like, bust out a dog and then be like, hey, Gannon, look, I drew, it's the number one, it's my dog, okay? Uh, but like in that amount of time, your dog can look like that. It just needs to have taken you probably, I would say at least 15 minutes to draw that guy, okay? So if you're really like, I want to be a better drawer, I just want to draw better, I want to be a better artist, this is the assignment for you. And down here, I have linked all kinds of prompts and ideas. So mermaid examples or plants or whatever, click through these, look at them if you're interested, okay? So this is one, another option that I added in. Again, you can do the ones that were already on there. Um, or I added this one. This is an art for good assignment, okay? Um, and the way this works is you have to open the menu and you need to pick one from here, one from here, and one from here. Okay, so the start here, you can make a positivity poster, like a poster and hang it in your window, or if you have a more public space, you put it on the road, whatever, take a picture, show me that you did it, proof you did it, yay. Then you're not done, you have to do something else. Then you have to go down here and you can either do one of two things. You can make and share, like just do little drawings and fold them up and put them in a Ziploc bag and go tape them to people's mailboxes, take photos of the drawings, take photos of you placing them on the mailboxes, boom, done with that part. Um, cards for nursing homes, create seven to 10 cards for patients in a nursing home. They're really struggling right now with this COVID stuff. It's super scary for them because, um, because it is, the illness sucks. So, um, Taking cards to nursing homes could be really great. So creating seven to 10 cards, take a picture of your cards, take a picture of you dropping them off at the nursing home, boom, done, okay? Then the last one gets a little bit more challenging. You can join a virtual art project, which I'll show you guys the links for those here in a second. You can create an art mas mas masterpiece, which is like recreating Van Gogh's Starry Night as a photo, okay? Um, I'm gonna post a Pinterest page with some examples for this. Um, in this assignment, because I kind of forgot that and people had questions about it. Um, that's going to come up here. I'll put, I'll put that in there this afternoon so that you guys have that. Or you can create an instructional video of an art skill. So let's talk about those virtual art projects real quick. Okay, so this project is basically, it's projects where they're just trying to get people to work together and submit together um, 
and all the submissions look like this, like they end up getting put into their awesome gallery, okay? Um, but what they want you to do is use your favorite medium to make a piece of artwork that's eight by eight, eight inches by eight inches, a little square tile, okay? Um, then they, the subject matter that they want you to make the work of art about is isolation. So what I need for you is if you wanna do this, make the artwork, submit it to here, take a screenshot of your submission, oh, done. Okay, um, then I feel like I'm like Emerald Bassey today. Like, ooh. yeah, what you guys probably don't even know about. Um, and the cards for hospitalized kids, same kind of thing. Do the cards, submit, take a screenshot that you submitted or proof that you mailed it or whatever it might be. Okay, um, the global open call for artists. This is actually a competition where you can win money. Um, and then the artistic response is the same kind of thing as the tessellation. I just need to have proof that you did it, okay? So if you wanna do art for good, this menu, you just need to pick one from each category, okay? Because they're a little bit easier, a little bit faster, um, and, and, they, and they do good. So I think there's never enough of that. So you have that choice. Um, you have that choice, you have the bettering yourself drawing, and then you have the other assignments, the stop motion video, the paper pottery, um, and the homemade clay totem pole. If you, I just need two of those turned in for fourth quarter total, okay? Picking any two and turning those in. So I hope that really makes some sense to you. Um, remember that I sent you an invite for a Google Class meeting next week. Um, please respond to that and join in. That's another way that we can make sure we're on the same page. And I just want to see your awesome faces. So I hope you have a good weekend and I will talk to you soon.